So for a while now, I've been wanting to install DWM. DWM is a dynamic window manager. It's another tiling window manager. And what's so cool about this window manager is the fact that it uses a patching system to extend its capabilities. So I think that's what we're going to do today. I have a Gentoo Linux virtual machine fired up and uh, let's get to the keyboard and let's get this thing installed. And then I'll talk about some of the patches that I'm choosing to install. All right, so let's go ahead and get Gen 2 fired up here. And like I said, I'm running this in a virtual machine. Um, we got Flexbox set up and let's do an X Render. To get uh, 1920 by 1080 here. Now we don't have anything really installed on this virtual machine. The only thing that we have installed is we have Git, we have um, Alacrity, um, and we had SDDM, and then uh, we got Firefox. So let's go ahead and get open up Firefox rather, and then dwm.sucklist.org and I had done I had done some research before um, we're making this video but this is the first time me actually installing it um, now we need let me go ahead and open up another terminal here So, let's go ahead and make a directory. We're going to call this directory suckless and we're going to put it in our .config folder. Um, that way, when we do our git clone, uh, we can git clone everything into this suckless uh, directory. So we need DWM, and we also need dmenu. Um, dmenu is just a run, like a run prompt or a run launcher. Um, now we're not gonna use ST, and that's simply because we already have Alacrity installed, and uh, kind of show you guys how to configure that. Um, And we need we need deep menu, yeah. I also have a list of all the um, all the patches that we're going to be using. Like I said, DWM does use a patching system, so um, in order for us to extend this, we do need to uh, get some patches. Now, there's some patches I'm not going to use, like. We're probably not going to use the scratch pad patch, and we're probably not going to use the always center patch. Um, DWM tends to break when you have anywhere from six to six to ten patches. So, um, going to keep this thing pretty small here if we can. And let's go ahead and get in DWM. Let's go ahead and make another directory called patches and I want to go ahead and make um I want to go ahead and download the patches before we actually do any configuring and I want to get I do want to get a couple of these patches um so we'll grab alpha um the alpha patch this is strictly for uh transparency and then we need not going to do the attach a side well yeah we will just go ahead and grab this one this patch what this patch allows you to do is um dwm does a master and stack layout so what this patch allows you to do it allows the new clients to go to the stack instead of 
um, going to the master. So, you don't really need this patch. But if it's annoying for new clients to go to um, go to the master and stow the stack, then uh, I guess you could use it. Uh, this auto start patch. This is a pretty important patch. Um, this allows you to make a auto startup, um, so that way you can have certain programs um, automatically um, start up when DWM starts. So I'm trying to figure out the patch here. That's 2021, 20, right? Yeah. Sometimes they have these in order and sometimes they don't. So it's just. And then cycle layouts. We will. So I'm one cycle layout patch. Some of this stuff should be default, but not um, restart sig what restart sig does it allows you to restart DWM without having to log out um, which is pretty big because a lot of times whenever you configure something you don't want to always have to log out of X before the changes take effect and um, this allows you to have a key bind to uh, just restart um, restart DWM and then rotate stack let's go ahead and find that here and then we'll do status padding and useless gaps so status padding what this allows you to do is half padding in your uh, in your status bar and then useless gaps that just gives you gaps between uh, different clients uh, status padding right here 6.3 looks like okay and then useless gaps and um, I'll show you guys when I'm talking about what gaps um, as soon as we get this thing installed here all right that looks looks pretty good um, and then let's go ahead and look at how to actually patch this thing so hacking okay so this is how we patch it it's patch p1 and then the directory where you want to patch so pretty pretty easy pretty simple um let's go ahead and move all of these dot diff files and then we're going to move them into our config suckless dwm uh, patches directory okay and now before we do any patching or anything like that let's get the thing installed and get it running um, that way we at least have a um, like a working copy so the first thing we need to do is we need to edit this config.def.h uh, file. This is the configuration header file and uh, DWM is written in C so this is how we have to edit it. Uh, config.def.h Alright so you can see the configuration is written in C. The whole entire thing is written in C. So it's just something we kind of have to do here um, there is some things that we there are things that we do want to uh, we want to change so by default um, DWM has the alt key as your mod key um, 
and I personally don't like that. I want my mod key to be the super key. So this uh, define mod key mod one mask. You want to change this to mod four mask if uh, if you want to use the super key. Mod four means super. And pretty much every tiling window manager uses like mod one, mod two, mod four. Um, just kind of how everyone seems to do it. And next, since we don't have the ST terminal installed, um, we have to change this string right here. Because if we don't change this string and we make make it and then make install and then boot up into it. We actually might crash it because it thinks that uh, we have ST and we don't. So change this to the terminal that you have installed. Um, like I said, I have Alacrity, so that's what we're going to do. And then next, we're also going to look at some of these key binds right here. And we're going to just see what, kind of what does what. Um, so it looks like the mod key P, that's going to spawn D menu. Um, and then mod key shift return is going to spawn your terminal. Now, don't really like that. Uh, so we're going to change this. We're going to have this key button right here, this mod key return and I guess it's a zoom, a zoom. We're gonna change this to the shift mask, and then we're gonna change um, our mod key shift mask return. We're actually gonna change that to the mod key return, and that's gonna spawn the terminal. That's typically how I like to do it. Um, pretty sure this will work. Oh, got the uh, got the comma. Need that comma. And then, yeah. So this should this should work. Um, you just definitely you want to make sure that your um, key binds are not overlapping with any other key binds. So pretty sure that's the only thing that we really have to fix that looks good to me so we're gonna write and quit and if everything goes well we can just do make and we got an error shift mask undeclared here huh all right well let's take a look Oh, okay. I didn't put the uh, didn't put the comma. Need the comma. All right. We're gonna remove the config the header file here, and then we will make again. I thought I did that. That looks correct. I guess I did not spell. I did not spell that right. <clears throat> hmm. So look again. Oh, okay. We need a cap. <laughs> we need a capital S. Oops. That looks right. All right. That looks that looks correct now. Needed a capital capital S on that shift. So all right, that worked that time. So we will make install. That worked. All right, and then let's go ahead and pull up a, another terminal here, and then let's go to config config. Suckless 
and let's do D menu now D menu that's a run prompt and everything I don't know if we're gonna patch that in this video so but we do need it installed so make and then now I can switch to my other terminal and then uh, I don't have sudo installed on this uh, BM right now all right cool so we have both of those installed um, next thing we got to do since we are uh, using a um, a login manager we're using sddm we need a dot desktop file to tell sddm that we just install installed uh dwm uh by default dwm does not place anything in your um x sessions folder so we need to make a custom file um so it can log in properly and we're going to just vim, we'll call it dwm uh, dot desktop. And then let's look on the internet real fast. dwm dot desktop. Um, we can just get this one. everything's pretty much the same and that looks good to me I did do some prior research before making this video so um, and now we need to copy that dwm.desktop and we actually need to copy it uh, so let's actually we'll just move it dwm.desktop will put in user share X sessions looks good now we should log out and log back in and we should have DWM going change this to DWM and we got it going cool uh, everything seems to work S super key is the mod key the way I want it super key in return should spawn alacrity it does cool um, super key shift P or is it super P super P is your D menu and so this is D menu um, and you can type whatever in here and it'll populate all right <clears throat> next thing on our list is if we want functionality uh, we have to patch this thing so the way we do that is we go back to our config suckless dwm and we want to remove this config.h and now we're going to do patch p1 and go to our patches and then we're gonna pick a we're gonna pick a patch to install um let's do something Nah, we ain't gonna do useless gaps yet just in case it fails let's do fixed borders this is just um alpha this should work all right it worked easy peasy all right you gotta do need to do another one Let's do let's do auto start. Cool. That works. Alright. Now let's try that restart sig. Um that worked awesome all right so let's go ahead and let's make make install this again and uh, log back into it that way 
we will have an actual way to uh, restart it. We do need to look at our config.def.h uh, uh, file because we do need to know the key bind in order to restart uh, DWM. So it's vim config.def.h and there should be a key bind in here or something that it added in here um, to restart DWM. See, I have quit. Huh. I have killed client. That's not it. How do you restart it? We added a patch, so we know it works. Go ahead and just install it, and then um, we'll play around with some keybinds just to see. Maybe I can find it online. Um, but we do need to make, and then we need to make install again, and then we will log out, which is your super shift Q. All right, everything is working still, which is awesome. Um, trying to play around with some key binds here and no, that's not it, that's not it. Uh, don't exactly know how to just restart it. Let's go back to DWM. Uh, let's do a cat config dot dev dot h. Pipe that to less. Let's see if I added anything that we didn't see before. See, I see kill a client. That just means kill the window. I see something. Mod shift control Q. Oh, okay. That's how you do it. I figured it out. All right. So it's the Windows key, Control and Shift, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be this last one right here. I was a little confused because it just said quit, um, but that's pretty much what it added. Um, wonder what the one means. I don't know, but that's how you do it. Um, so that's going to be the default key binding. We will change that <laughs> uh, because I, I don't like that. Um, but we'll change it in a little bit. Let's remove the config.h. And now we need to patch it some more. All right, so we'll do patch p1 patches dwm. So we've done the fixed borders patch. We've done auto start and we've done restart sig. 
So let's do rotate stack. That worked. Good. Let's try status padding. That worked. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's make, make install, and then I'll just restart DWM. Oops. Uh, I knew I messed that up. So we'll do make install. And now let's go ahead and restart it. Okay. And we could we could see some kind of change up here. And I'm pretty sure that was with the uh, that was with the padding. So that works. Um, let's do useless gaps. So here's what gaps are before we do this. So if you don't know what gaps is, you see how we have both of these windows open right here. And I mean, we have a small gap, I guess, like right there but it's not really a gap so with this useless gaps patch we'll do whenever we have one or more like windows open or clients as they call them then it's gonna put like a nice gap in between so it makes your windows look a lot better um, thing is though is I don't know I don't know if it works so And it worked. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and remove the config.h. We'll make it again. Make install again. And then we will restart. And then I will show you exactly what it actually did. So, uh, no. So you see now, you see how like we had this nice nice little gap in between so that's what the useless gap uh, patch actually does so that, that looks starting to look a lot better um, why this isn't default I'll never know but that's how they uh, kind of how they like to do it all right so we've gotten pretty lucky with our patches so far but there is there's one more patch that we're gonna have to do um, Hopefully, it doesn't break anything. And that's the attach aside patch. Because I'm pretty sure I've done everything else. And we got a failure. Alright, so let's look at the failure and let's try and fix it um all right so we see this file right here dwm.c.reg what this is this is a reject file that whenever a patch doesn't patch or just goes wrong um it'll kind of tell you what um uh, what it added and what it didn't um, so we can look at this file and we can actually add this stuff in ourselves and try and make it again and uh, hopefully get it installed so let's go ahead and vim so we can do dwm.c dot reg because this is the reject file now at the top here you're also going to notice that how it has the minus 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 dwm.c and that plus 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 dwm.c this is telling you to file that it did not patch correctly so 
And you're also going to see over here that you have a plus sign with the attach aside uh, statement right here. This is the plus is telling you what you need to add to this file, and the minus is telling you what you need to remove in the file. So, what we can do here in Vim is we can open up a vertical split, and we can open up this dwm.c file. All right, and now what we can do is we need to find we need to find this whole entire like function right because we need to add this in so let's go ahead and do a search and we do update geom or I guess geometry alright so here is the function update geom so we need to find we need to find all of this. Alright. So just scroll down until we start seeing this M clients. And this is it right here. See, because we got the the M, um, this pointer to the clients. So this is, I think this is a link, a linked list. Um, that's what it looks like to me in a way. So anyway, um, it's exactly what we're looking for. And then detach stacks. There's detach stacks. And then okay, so we need to remove that attach C right here. DD, right? And we need to add attach a side C. Make sure I did this correctly. Attach a side. All right. Now, if you write this, write and quit. Get out of that. Now, if we make this, hopefully we don't have any errors. So let's go ahead and make. And we didn't have any errors. Awesome. So if you have patches in DWM that fail on you, just open up the .reject file and see what you need to add in yourself. Um, I'm guessing everything does work. Um, the only thing is when you start adding in multiple patches it does start changing the code around so uh, you're you'll have to just play around with it um, well, let's go ahead and make install this and I didn't type my password in right again I should really install sudo so make install now we have that And now let's restart it. Um, now let's go ahead and make sure that all of our stuff pretty much works. So there's that's what I was talking about master and stack. So we have the master, and then these are the, your stack windows. Now, when we open up a new window, what should happen is it should go to the stack, not the master. And it does. Cool. And then uh, status padding, it looked like it worked a long time ago. We see the gaps working. Uh, transparency, we're really not going to see until we start messing with this top bar here, which we're not going to be doing in this video. Um, we do, oh, we can, we can check out auto start. We do need to make sure that auto start works. So, um, and what's the other one? I think there was another one where we can move the windows like around. So let's, let's do something. Okay. That, yeah, that works too. So, um, yeah. 
cool so we can take this window over here put it down there put it over there yeah that all works cool so let's before we end the video here let's go ahead and let's figure out how to get this auto start file to work so I'm going to do dwm.suckless.org do patches and then there was something in auto start earlier okay this patch will make dwm run oh okay so we do need to make so it looks like we need to make a directory make directory called dwm and in this directory dwm we need a auto start sh file so auto start sh and then we'll do our shebang uh, bin sh be aware that DWM will not start up as long as auto start blocking SH is running and will stay completely unresponsive okay Alright, so I guess we just type in what we want to auto start right here. Um, I do have PyCon on the system. PyCon is a X compositor. And I do have Nitrogen installed on the system. So let's see if we'll do PyCon and then we'll do Nitrogen. Uh, restore to restore our um, wallpaper. Yeah, let's do. Let's see if this just works. So we can write and quit. Um, I'm probably. I probably need to make this executable. Change mod plus X. So that's now executable. Um, Let's start our, um, well, we need, we need, um, nitrogen to set a wallpaper for us. So we'll, uh, we'll just use, we'll use this wallpaper. Actually, we'll use this one. Make sure it's scaled. We'll do automatic here. All right. So we're going to quit out of, um, DWM, we're going to completely log out, and if this auto start file works, we should get this wallpaper again. That's how we can kind of tell if it worked or not. Um, so let's completely log out, and it works. And if we do HTOP, see if we see if. Uh, PyCom is working. There's PyCom right there. So cool. That has been um, that's been pretty fun, and it didn't take that long. We learned a couple of things. Um, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit the uh, like and subscribe, 
and uh, leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see more content like this uh, also if you want to see more content just for Gen 2 uh, itself then uh, I'm willing to do videos on it but until next time you guys take care be safe and peace